All right, welcome back to TK Tennis. Today we are doing a review of Toraline Absolute. Uh, and just a heads up, I want to thank everyone for if you answered the poll on what strings you want to see me review next. Super, uh, not Super Toro, sorry, Toro, Toro Line, Toro Toro was the highest vote getter. So I just strung this up this evening and I'll be testing it this weekend. And I also did a review of MSV Swift, which I still have to write up and publish as well. But with that said, let's get into this review and review Toraline Absolute. And just a little heads up, I was really quite excited about Toraline Absolute because if you watch some of my other videos, you know some of the Toraline strings or most of the Toraline strings, hyper slick, very aggressive snapback, are quite demanding. And I prefer something that's a little bit more in the medium, soft range, or even soft range like Grapple Snake Tor M8 or Kirschbaum Orange. So I know Toraline Absolute was the softest Toraline string, and I've seen some other reviews, so I was really excited about this particular string. So let's get into it and see how I liked it. And just to, also another quick heads up here, is when you're taking a look at these reviews, you can skip right ahead and read the overall grade, but I would suggest not doing that. Um, the grading system I use is, is frankly, it's flawed, right? It's not that accurate because when you take an overall grade you're taking not just playability but durability and other aspects so if you just look at the grade you're probably not going to get a good you're probably not going to get a good indication of really if the string plays well and is good for a certain type of play style so let's get into tour line absolute and let's go through the attributes first as normal uh, on the control aspect um, i normally give Toraline strings mostly get excellent on control because they have really strong snapback, they're very firm, and they're very accurate. Uh, the control side on Toraline Absolute is very good, which any good polyester string should get no less than very good. I have not seen any polyester string would get a fair on control because polyester strings just have very good control characteristics. So very good is sort of the baseline of what I expect on a polyester string. Um, and that's where it absolute fits into the control attribute. Going into spin potential, I also list it as very good. Um, it doesn't have exceptional snapback. Um, you don't get a lot for free on spin. But again, polyester strings should have very good spin at the very least. This is not a very sharp string, so it doesn't get a high, and it certainly doesn't give you a lot of spin for free. It doesn't really give you any extra spin for free. So it gives you a very good, solid spin potential, like most polys would. On the snapback category, it's in between very good and excellent. It's not quite as slick, or it doesn't snap back quite as aggressively as some other Toraline strings do. So I give it sort of in between that very good and excellent range. They do move around just a little bit and don't always return right back to full position. But overall, it's still very good to excellent in terms of the snapback category. On the power category, nothing sexy here. It's just normal, a normal polyester. It doesn't have any additional pop. It doesn't play really flat. It has a nice power profile like you'd expect from most polys. So it gets a normal there. Durability is a high. Um, it took me a long time to break these strings, about seven, seven and a half hours. I do break strings quite often. Um, so it was about seven and a half hours, I believe, somewhere in that range. So durability was very high. Uh, so that's fantastic. Uh, in terms of tension maintenance, um, sort of normal. It played quite firm and crisp, even though it's on the softer side of the polyester strings. Uh, for probably about four hours, three and a half to four hours before it started to get a little bit of sponginess, um, which is also very typical of a very good poly. So I would put tension maintenance as, as normal, not super high, but not certainly not poor. Um, has a very healthy, let's call it that way, it has a very healthy tension maintenance profile. Going into feel, it's soft, but it's not super soft. So it gets halfway on the soft, uh, highlighted, being halfway on soft. Also, it's a little bit muted sometimes as well. I'm not fully muted. It does have some liveliness to it, but it also is somewhat muted, almost like a little boring. So between quite soft and quite boring in the muted side and 
it has a half a liveliness to it as well. You can't consider this a very lively string. I saw some other reviews talking about that it had really great sound characteristic and a great pop to it. Um, I really didn't experience it that. I really didn't experience that very much. So it's somewhat lively, but not, not exceptionally lively at all. I mean, overall, the string is actually quite boring, um, which was disappointing. I give it an overall grade of a B because it doesn't do anything exceptionally well and it doesn't do anything really bad. It's sort of just B for boring, even though <laughs> that's not what the B stands for. It gets a B grade because there was really nothing exciting about it. It didn't have a lot of pop, but it didn't not have a lot of pop. Um, it felt good, but it didn't feel great. So that's why I gave it a B. And, and overall, I was actually sadly disappointed because if you've been watching my reviews, you know Kirschbaum Orange is sort of my go-to soft poly string that has a lot of pop, um, has a lot of feel, and it just has that something extra and a lot of great characteristics all around. And I thought this string would be very similar to Kirschbaum Orange, and it wasn't. Um, it's not nearly as exciting to play with without that feel and that pop that Kirschbaum Orange has or even Grapple Snake Tor M8 has, even though that doesn't have as, quite as much power as Kirschbaum Orange. Um, and I would say even Selenko Confidential, which is sort of like a medium soft poly that has more crispiness to it and more pop to it. That's a more exciting string than this string is. So who is this string for? It's for the average recreational player who prefers a softer poly from Toraline. So if you like Toraline strings and you're looking for their softer poly that's not very exciting but does everything quite well, but nothing exceptionally well, this is a good string for you to consider. Uh, it's clearly the most comfortable string in the Toraline lineup, and many people will like its comfort combined with its all-around solid playability. Um, I expected more feedback and pop, and I was surprised I didn't get it. Um, I really thought this would be a fantastic string, but again, just a little bit boring for me. So would I use it again? Meh. It's nice, but it's not good enough for me for my liking. So no, um, just doesn't have that sort of it factor that I'm looking for with that little extra signal, that little extra pop, that little extra liveliness uh, while still being soft. That's what I'm looking for in a string, and not necessarily soft, but you know, I do like crispy strings as well, as long as they're not too crisp and not too demanding. So that concludes this review. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, and I would love it if you subscribed and liked the video to help the video get as much reach as pos possible. And if you ever have any suggestions on how I can make these reviews even more informative for you, uh, let me know, and I will see you in the next ace. See you soon.